another screamer. Screamer in the deeps. Oh yeah, another nice one. Ah, it's a big one. Oh yeah. Big, big, big. A big dancer. I don't see too many big dancers. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, babe. On the three and a half inch paddle tail again. Yeah, my shoulder's getting a little sore, but that's a that's a nice one. We're, uh, there we go. Four point four, leaning against me. No long arm needed. Four point four. Boom. Some new weeds here. Just thrown it on the outskirts of the weeds so far. And this guy hit it like another, like a Mack truck, man. Just whacking it. So they are really liking the underspin on the weighted paddle tail today. And I really like that color. I've tried other colors. So. Alright, there's that fella. Another nice two pounder. Hitting on the uh, 3.8 inch paddle tail with the underspin. Alright, another one on the paddle tail with the underspin. Pulled this guy right out up over there. That's where I chucked it. I'm just trying to back myself up because he's trying to pull me into the area where I want to fish. So, yeah, that's another nice one. Another nice one there. That's probably another two and a half pounder or so. Barely had him hooked. Look at that. Busted my paddle tail. Finally. You think these paddle tails work? All those catches were on that same paddle <laughs> He waited till I turned the camera on. Did a little flap in there. Another nice solid one. Get him back. He's got lots of energy, so we'll just let him go on his way. Tagged again. Tagged right up in between those lily pads right there. Looks like a smaller fella. He's barely hooked. Barely. Barely. Ooh, you hear him? <laughs> they're just, they're hunting over there. They're angry and they're hungry. And they're hunting. That's what I'm trying to tap into, is what's over there. Not these little fellas, but... Alright, there's that little fella. See if I can get into some of those big ones making the big swells over here. Got a guy right in the lily pads right here. Can't tell. It feels bigger, but I just can't tell. Oh yeah. That's a bigger one. He's just flopping across the lily pads. That might have been the one I heard making the swells right over there. I kept targeting them. And eventually, he took the bait. Another nice, healthy one. Not, not one of the big ones. Ooh, look at that. Just had it. Not one of the big, big ones here. But another solid two and a half, probably. Two and a quarter. Jumping stuff. Trying to be quiet. There's that guy, 2.4 pounds. So another healthy, healthy specimen here. He's on his way. Paddle tail survived. It's getting a little iffy. Getting a little iffy. Tail's broken. All right, well, this was pretty much a reaction bite.
almost the second it hit the water. Switched up the color a little bit just to give another paddle tail a little chance to earn its keep. This is the, I think it's called male perch color. Same thing though, underspin. Little fella, little tyke. So there you go, little fella. Male perch, 3.8 inch with the underspin weighted. Just switching it out a little bit. And, uh... All right, so I'm just fishing in real shallows here. And just pulling it along the weed line here. And this little fellow, you know, it's funny, he's small in length, but he's definitely solid. Boy, he's getting his dark colors in. Short. Need a pounder. All right, so being I'm in very shallow here, I decided to switch it up a little bit. I went weightless. It's just too shallow to uh, to keep the weighted one, but I kept the same color, that bluegill color, whatever that is, whatever it's called. Weightless. Four O hook, spring lock, bluegill. All right, another one screaming. Right up there. Kind of went back to where I was about half an hour ago. Yeah, he just felt a little bigger with all that salad. A decent fella, though. Decent fella. Just a lot of salad, though. A lot of salad. There we go. We'll get the salad. All right, there's the salad shooter. <laughs> salad still stuck all over the line, so I'll have to get it out. Another nice fellow there. Probably uh, in that two and three quarters range or so. He was just hiding out in the grass right there. Still trying to be quiet. I'm sitting in the area I want to fish, like actively. Well, I got a guy on there. <clears throat> At least he was. Trying to take me right into the weeds. And there he is. Little fellow. Little fellow hiding up in the lily pads. Little guy. There we go. Little fellow there. We're not even gonna handle him, we're just gonna do a hook grab and a, and a quick release. Get him on his way. There you go. Fudge. Got a nice one. He took me right into that stalk. Uh uh uh. Alright. Just heading on my way back. Throwing right up in front of me there, up in the grass. Little fella. Little fella. Alright, there's a the little fella. Thick. Again, short, but thick. And then we'll just do a quick, quick little release on him again. And get him back to enjoying life. Alright. <clears throat> Another one, kind of on our way out-ish. Yeah, I'll just let him pull me. Pull me home. Pull me home. Yeah, another nice fellow there. I don't want the splash today. It's cold. No splash. Not today. No splash today. It's cold. That's another one of those short ones. But just like a little football. Real real thick. Alright, there's that fellow. It's another solid two and a quarter. 
sitting up here in the weeds on my way back. Hitting like a tank again. They all do over here. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs>